What's up guys, Eric here, welcome to Fan Battle, the video series where I ask you a question, give you four choices, and then you guys vote for the winner. Last week, I asked you guys to tell me who you thought the best upgraded DC TV character was. By upgraded, I mean characters that started out at one place and then had a lot of major changes and ended up as another character or a different character than the one that they started out as. Surprisingly, this was a pretty tight race. There wasn't any clear front runner. Everybody saw Sort of did pretty good in the polls. I combined my Twitter with my YouTube poll to come up with the winner and we're going to rank them from four to one. Here we go. Coming in at number four is Thea Queen aka Speedy. Now she is a fan favorite. You guys talked about how much you loved her, how great she is as a character, but she just didn't get enough votes to win this poll, but that's okay. I'll include Speedy in another poll at some point down the road. Number three is... Wally West, a.k.a. Kid Flash. Um, I thought he was going to do better, but he just didn't have enough votes to beat out the other two girls. But uh, I still love Wally West. I think he's a great character. I think he'd be better on another show, you know, developing on his own. But hey, you can't win them all, right? And now for the winner, number one is... Caitlin Snow, a.k.a. Killer Frost, a.k.a. whatever name they decide to use for her in season four. She took the lead. She edged out Sarah Lance as the White Canary, another fan favorite. But these two were pretty close at the end. I think that they're still like I kind of agree with this a little bit because I think Caitlyn's transformation was maybe a little bit cooler but I still love Sarah. She's my favorite female character in the DC TV Arrowverse. So, hey, second place isn't bad, right? This week, we're taking a break from DC TV, and we're going to be talking about DC movies. I've selected four of my personal favorite DC films from over the years and put them in this poll for you guys to vote on. Keep in mind, these are just my four choices. There's so many films to choose from. I probably didn't include everybody's favorite in this list, so if I missed your favorite, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Without further ado, here are your four choices for the best DC film of all time. First up, Superman 1978. This classic directed by Richard Donner and starring Christopher Reeve, this movie ushered in a new age for comic book movies, taking the iconic Superman character and giving him a live action face to remember. I mean, this movie is full of quotable lines, moments you'll remember forever and some of the best special effects 1978 had to offer. Regardless of who came before Christopher Reeve and who came after him, he's considered by many to be the gold standard when it comes to a live action Superman. And don't forget, we had Gene Hackman as the unforgettable Lex Luthor. This version has stood the test of time in pop culture. So does this movie sit at the top of the list for you? Next up, Batman 1989. Over the years, Batman has seen more live action films than just about any other superhero. This Tim Burton classic came along after the success of Superman to bring us a dark and creepy version of Gotham and the Caped Crusader. Michael Keaton was a controversial choice for the role of Bruce Wayne in Batman, but ended up becoming a fan favorite over the years. We can't forget Jack Nicholson's iconic take on the Joker. Even many fans consider him to be the definitive live action Joker even after the highly praised Heath Ledger version speaking of Heath Ledger let's move into the next movie The Dark Knight 2008 directed by Christopher Nolan and starring Christian Bale and Heath Ledger this movie has been called by many as the ideal in superhero filmmaking the second in a trilogy of Nolan Batman movies this one sits at the top of the list for most fans of this series giving us a grounded version of Gotham that feels like it could be any major city in the country. The frightening reality that a character like the Joker could exist was brought to life by Heath Ledger in his now really iconic version of this character. The look, the feel, the style of this film just hits all the right buttons for Batman fans and is considered by many to be the definitive Batman live action film. How about you? Is this considered the best DC live action movie? And lastly, we're going to get current and go with Wonder Woman from 2017, a highly praised film critically and fans alike. Wonder Woman brings us a live action version of this character that packs a punch and still has a lot of heart. Gal Gadot brings this character to life in a movie that seems to take the simple origin story and makes it feel larger than life. Special effects and combat scenes backed by graceful storytelling and iconic visuals, this movie has many fans calling it the best that DC has to offer with their live 
live action films. Did this movie do it for you? Is Wonder Woman the definitive, the best, the top of the line when it comes to live action DC movies? Let us know in the comments below. And there you go, your four choices for the best DC film of all time. Again, I realize I'm not going to have everybody's favorite in this list. I can only pick four. So if I missed your favorite, go down in the comments and let me know. And while you're down there, go ahead and rank these movies from four to one. Now it's your time to vote. Up in the corner, you're going to see a little thing pop up. You guys know how to do it. Vote for your favorite in this poll and then go down below and tell us which one you voted for and why you think it's better than the rest. I would love to hear from you guys. When you're done voting here, don't forget to head over to my Twitter and vote over there because I combine the two polls together to come up with the winner. And I tell you, sometimes Twitter's results are way different from the results over here. So you want to vote in both places to make sure that your choice wins. And if you're feeling extra friendly, you can give me a follow as well. I love to chat with you guys over on Twitter. It's easier for me to keep in touch with you guys because that's what I use when I'm on the go. It's my go-to app for social media. So hit me up on Twitter, give me a follow, and give me a piece of your mind. Give me suggestions for fan battles. We got the whole summer. So there's plenty of options. And that's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. And I will catch you guys on Monday with my Rant and Preview weekly mega video. See you then.